In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Maximilian Kolbe, priest and martyr of the church. We open our hearts as we begin to the mercy and the forgiveness of our God. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Son of, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are the Word made flesh who lives among us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who filled the priest and martyr, St. Maximilian Kolbe, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even unto death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will deal with you according to what you have done, you who despised your oath, breaking a covenant. Yet I will remember the covenant I made with you when you were a girl, and I will set up an everlasting covenant with you. Then you shall remember your conduct, and be ashamed when I take your sisters, those older and younger than you, and give them to you as daughters, even though I am not bound by my covenant with you. For I will reestablish my covenant with you, that you may know that I am the Lord, that you may remember and be covered with confusion and that you may be utterly silenced for shame when I pardon you for all you have done, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. You have turned from your anger. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You have turned from your anger. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You have turned from your anger. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You turn from your anger. Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatever? And he said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, man must not separate. And they said to him, Then why did Moses command that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? And he said to them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. I say to you, Whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, and marries another, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. Jesus answered, Not all can accept this word, but only those to whom it is granted. Some are incapable of marriage because they were born so some because they were made so by others, and some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this ought to accept it. The Gospel of the Lord. The Word of God today course, uh, speaks to us of the sanctity of marriage. And as Jesus is in this confrontation, he goes back to the very beginning of uh, the story of Genesis and bases the holiness of marriage uh, upon the story of creation there, uh, the two, two becoming one. Marriage has been uh, sacred in our, in a, throughout our church's history. Um, we have the of course, the sacrament of marriage is one of the seven sacraments that highlights the importance of marriage within our lives and within our faith. Today, the feast we celebrate, uh, St. Maximilian Kolbe, of course, as a priest, he wasn't married, but he stood up for marriage in even so much so as to give his life. In the concentration camps, um, one man was going to be executed who was a father uh, and a husband, and he cried out, and Maximilian said, I will take his place, uh, and did so, and he was executed in place of the man. He stood up indeed uh, for the sanctity of marriage. He stood up to proclaim the holiness of marriage by giving of his own life. We pray today that uh, God would be with us, that we may continue to support one another, support especially married couples and families, that God's blessings would be with them. We pray that God's graces would be all, with all of us uh, as we seek to be married, as it were, uh, in the church uh, to Jesus Christ. All of us, God the Father, uh, sharing his love with us. We pray this today as we honor Maximilian Kolbe. We pray as we hear the word of God. We pray. For all families, that they may grow in their love of one another. For those that are experiencing difficulties, that God would help to heal the hurts and give them what they need, we pray to the Lord. For all of those battling the virus, for all of those that are affected by it, we pray to the Lord. For all of those that are preparing for marriage, that their love may continue to grow ever stronger, we pray to the Lord. For peace, for an end to violence and injustice and discrimination, we pray to the Lord. For those who have asked for our prayers, and those we have promised to pray for,
We pray to the Lord. O loving and caring God, continue to shower your love and your blessings upon us and hear our prayers that we offer in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. We present our oblations to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of St. Maximilian to offer our very lives to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The, Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of the blessed martyr Maximilian Kolbe poured out like Christ to glorify your name and shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we together acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, 
he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Maximilian Kolbe, St. Rocco, and all of the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. In this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, Please confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Robert, our apostolic administrator, the other bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. This is gracious the prayers of this family whom you summon before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We share now a sign of Christ's peace. peace. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Do not, please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that St. Maximilian received from this holy banquet. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Eucharist is ended. Let us go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. Good celebrating the Eucharist with you this morning. Tomorrow, just a reminder, is the Feast of the Assumption, and our Mass is at 9 tomorrow.